because it hits them emotionally better than it does a man. All right, but men are to be leaders. They're to stand up and take take responsibility. They're to they're to uh, uh, be the leaders. That's why men are to be pastors and be the teachers. Okay, and doing as you see them. Sunday, November the eighth, two thousand fifteen. Uh, well, women can, women, women can teach children Thank up to an age of accountability, which is normally accepted to be 13. Okay, it's a general rule. Some children mature earlier, other children, other people mature later. For instance, if you got a mongoloid child, the child never matures. Yeah. Okay, that child's going to have a straight heaven. Okay, uh, you know, when, 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 when the child dies. You have, uh, you know, anyone who has a mental deficiency, God gives leeway to. It's those of us that have all of our faculties that are held to the full account of the Bible and what it stands for. Yes. What about um, uh, like when a, um, a, re a a person is sick and they're in homebound, mm -hmm. and is somebody under the minister is a, is a well, obviously. Yeah. That's you can go and visit thing. them, and then you're, you know, that's something a little different. Oh, we're talking okay. about, okay. we're talking about the general rule. All right. Men in the church are to be the leaders. Okay. Well, okay. out there, wherever out there yeah. is, yeah. we're all supposed to be evangelists. All right. Okay. okay. Priscilla yeah. and Aquila. Yes. Right. Yes. Husband and wife, they were out, they they were out evangelizing like they were supposed to do. All right. take, we're all to take the gospel to the, you know, out to the world. You know, all the Great right. Commission. Okay. You know, Matthew 28, 18 to 20. We're all to we're all to go into all the world and preach the gospel. You know, that's a job for us. But the training that you get in the church is supposed to be by men. And children of you know, boys up to the age of accountability can be taught by a woman, that's okay. But once they reach the age of accountability, then you send them to the men's class. All right? And and have them trained by men. So they learn how to be a man and how to understand what is going on from men and the logic of it, not the emotion of it. God made, he made women emotional to nurture children. Mm -hmm. And the husband, you know, the father, is to teach us the boundaries. Mm -hmm. All right? So you have the nurturing within the boundaries of whatever, you know, of, of training for a child, whether it be Christian or just living their, their everyday life. You know, right and wrong and you know, whatever, which is really Christian anyway. But a lot of people don't, don't view it as that anymore. All right? Okay. Romans 2, we start, start, start you know, continue on from uh, verse 17. Um, Behold, uh, you are uh, called a Jew and uh, uh, rested in the law. And uh, marks your uh, boundaries... You're both, in, and uh, Marcus, I guess I have to read, read, read the right way, so change the words. And makest thou uh, boast of God. The Jews were boasting that they were all, the only ones that were chosen by God. We are descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and you're not. Okay? The pride issue, right? Um, they, they were supposed to evangelize the world, but they really never did it. Okay? Even after Jesus, you know, here we are in Romans, uh, it's about 62 AD, uh, Paul is uh, uh, in prison, writing these prison epistles, okay, um, uh, to, you know, and he did missionary journeys. We don't hear about too many, we don't hear you know, the missionary journeys uh, that, that the others did. Okay. Now most of them basically stayed in Jerusalem, and you know they thought, well, you know, when Jesus said go into all the world and preach the gospel, they really didn't do too much of it. Praise God for Paul. Otherwise, uh, we might not be saved. Okay. Yes. But wasn't Paul going to the Gentiles, or was yes, he going he to the Jews too? Well, we'll go back. Go back to Romans. Romans one 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 sixteen. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, oh, to the Jew first and also to the priest. Yes. <coughs> now we have gone over that multiple times, and yeah. we even we even had it last week in a couple of verses. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know the you know the uh, the Jew and but whatever else. But when he else. started out, was he going? To Jews? Yes, he went to the Jewish community first because he was. In every town well, see, and see, he was, others. he was, he was a Jew and a Roman. Yeah. In Jewish culture, you are what your mother is. That was because of Jesus. Oh. So because he did not have an earthly father, so uh -huh. he would be recognized as a Jew. But in the the heathen cultures uh, of the day, you know, under you know mainly under the Roman Empire, there were still yeah. heathens farther out. Okay, uh, you you were what your dad was. And his dad was a Roman. 
So that's when why when he went when he was uh, scourged and you know when he was uh, uh, whipped and put into prison, he had the mayor come down and apologize to him because it was a death penalty crime to you know because he did not have a trial. The, the mayor had viewed him as a Jew only, not realizing his dad was a Roman. Therefore, he was a Roman citizen. Okay. Therefore. Okay. I knew he said he was a Roman. I thought, yeah, I knew. Wait, is he just pulling that no. all the air? Is he just hard. saying, like, do, do as the yeah, Romans do? Yeah, yeah, Because isn't there, there's somebody that says, and I don't know where it's at again, <laughs> but one says, um, when someone's poor, then I'm poor, to relate to them. Mm -hmm, when I'm, mm -hmm. you know, when, mm -hmm. um, so tells us when they're that. Greek, right. then I'm Greek. Right. When I'm, yeah. And I, I don't know if it was Paul that well, said that. Well, he even comes here, though, I think, Paul. Who was. But I remember somewhere. reading that somewhere. Yeah, you do. I do too. It, it says I'll be somewhere. whatever I need Wherever, to be yeah, to reach yeah. people. Yes. So it's like he was compromising. Well, so yeah. we're not supposed to. Uh, we not well, you don't. You don't compromise, today. but you come with us recent together. Yeah. Okay. okay? Yeah. You know, it's, it's a it's a it's a an offshoot of that. Okay. Is that the first place we learned that Paul's father was a Roman? No. There. Uh, I forgot. I forgot where it's it says. Someplace back. Okay. Maybe his sister okay. or whatever. Okay. Uh, but he. You know his his uh, his father was a Roman. Uh, but he he adhered to uh, Jewish, Jewish. Uh, laws and traditions. That's why he was taught under Gamaliel, the greatest teacher of the day, to understand uh, all the Jew, you know, the five hundred uh, six hundred thirteen Jewish laws. Uh, he had a great understanding. You know, first of all, studying under not only studying under a good God gave him a great intellect. He had to, and then a great uh, disposition. He was uh, uh, unlike uh, you know he was very analytical. All right, you know, and I'm I'm analytical, so you have a great respect for that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, to be able to be able to put the pieces together, yeah. right? You know, God's given me that ability to put the pieces together for you guys, and hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, you got you have uh, ears to hear and eyes to see uh, what's what's going on with all the you know the in depth stuff that He gives me to teach you. As I said, I don't study for any of these classes. The Holy Spirit, you know, doing mm -hmm. um, that. Um, uh, but He had a great intellect. Uh, very logical. That's why everything is so na nice and neat through this. Okay. Now, me, uh, if I were doing something like this, I would have to compose it. Okay. Uh, I, you know, that's part of why I hate writing my newsletters. I don't write. I compose. It takes me forever to write my newsletters. It just sucks the sucks the living daylights out of me. That's what I got to do tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Um, uh, he was able to link it all together because he had the great intellect. Um, you know, and I said, and unlike, you know, it didn't unlike him, and I made it a tangent. Unlike Peter, who had a sanguine personality, who just you know went went every haphazard every which way, except when he preached in the Book of Acts in chapter two, the day of Pentecost. That's when he was logical. It's one of the few times he was he was logical in the Bible, you know, where he wasn't uh, uh, impetuous or whatever the word. Whatever the word she, you know, yes, uh, that he was wasn't off on a tangent and uh, doing doing whatever. Um, uh, uh, you see that you see that Paul is very logical in everything that he says, everything he does. Uh, the Holy Spirit is guiding him through everything. All right, uh, you know, because you know he says I'm a slave to Christ. Yeah. Okay, which really you know was translated slave it should have been indentured servant. Okay, the, the definition the definition of slave in the Bible was an indentured servant, someone who decided to work for, they were not forced to work for. All right? Uh, you know, when he says he was bought with a price, uh, it was out of humility in uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 6.20 and 7.24. I bought with a price, which means you don't own yourself, which is eternal security. Okay, all these different things you see that all go together to show the foundation and then God, then Jesus uh, training him uh, in Arabia. That's, I think that's Galatians 1, 16, 18, something like that. Uh, talks about him going off to Arabia for, to be taught by Jesus for three years. Uh, that he, uh, um, uh, he had a great foundation as to what was really going on. Uh, yeah, I'm, 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 I read I read the first verse so far. Yeah, yeah, uh, Romans two seventeen. Having you know, doing my own commentary before the book commentary. Uh, he had a uh, uh, he had the greatest knowledge to be able to understand the old, the old and the new and link them together for people to understand why 
we had gone from one dispensation of the law to the dispensation of grace and why we didn't need the uh, animal sacrifices and how Christ took care of everything and he was the rock and he was our sacrifice and you know repentance and you know you know but see, and people in America just sit back and they don't do repentance anymore you know you know we see him at the abortion clinic you know, how many times I told you I've seen people walk into the abortion clinic with a Bible in their hand. Sometimes it's a study Bible. And talk about and talk about righteous indignation coming over me. Okay? You know, it's it's even worse than when I see people come in with a cross hanging from the rearview mirror. Okay? Um, you know, and uh, sometimes you know you know see you know a black you know black woman who was Jewish, she had a Torah. Okay, and you know, so gave her Old Testament verses. And they tell me, well, God says he'll forgive, you know, when they're talking about the you know, New Testament Bible, you know, Christian, uh, God says, uh, you know, he, well, they, they tell me, God, God will forgive me, he forgives everybody. I said, no, he doesn't. I said, without repentance, there is no forgiveness. And if you go do this, and then you repent, and you think you're repentant, God's going to call you out here and stand with me for the rest of your life. Eyes as big as silver dollars, and they say, oh, no, he's not. In other words, they're going to repent, you know. And they aren't going to make it to heaven. You can't be doing business with the devil and think you're going to get to heaven. I you know, without, you know, without, without true repentance. It don't work. You know, because we have it so easy in America, it's easy to let things slide in the Bible. Our brothers and sisters around the world, you know, you know many times I've mentioned the Catholics and what a great example they are for doing things wrong. God's going to have a whole lot more uh, understanding for them in third world countries being persecuted for trying to follow God when first of all they really don't they, they don't have Bibles like we do. Okay? They're basically going by a spiritual leader, which unfortunately is a priest, telling them the wrong things of you know the Catholicism things, but they're but they're they, they have a heart for God. They just don't have the training. Okay, and God's gonna have a whole lot more compassion for them and a whole lot easier for them to get in heaven than it is for a Catholic in the United States. They have Bibles and they don't use it, and they uh, and they're always uh, and they're always looking through things, you know, understanding things through their rosary colored glasses. Okay. Uh, well, unfortunately, their their faith their faith is in Catholicism. Their faith is in Mary. You got the Pope who recently told them you you are not to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. You're at a personal relationship with the Catholic Church. Okay. They think they think you know whatever saints they pray to Mary uh, you know whoever you know even Michael the Archangel is going to be standing with them at Judgment Day to say let them in let them in let them in uh uh they're going to be there the dead know nothing okay they don't know so that you know it's what was going on you know in this verse back with the Jews back then had been going on. All the, you know, all the way back to Abraham with the Jews, and you know, all the way back to Adam before that, you know, to some degree, some extent, and it's still going on today. You know, Ecclesiastes 1:9. There's nothing new under the sun. Things just happen in a different form. Okay, it's the same thing, but it's just a, a just a different form based on the, the time period that you're living in. We have the technology, so everything's so nice and neat, neat for us. Uh, you know, we want to make sure we don't have this kind of pride. Okay, that, that they do, you know, uh, about the law and uh, and boasting and boasting of God, uh, you know, it's it's been it's been going on all the way back, and it's going to continue to go on um, until the tribulation period starts. And uh, as I said, we may be as little, less than two years away from uh, from that. You know, uh, Feast of Trumpets 2017 is looking really really good, and everything that happens keeps pointing to it. Now, as we get closer, we will be able to confirm more and more whether or not it's true. What God says is at the doors, you know, pick out a door close to you. <laughs> it's, getting yeah. that, it's getting that close, all right? And, uh, and we see it with, with, America, go, with America going away. Uh, we, we see that happening, all right? Commentary on 17. Behold, thou art called a Jew and resit and, uh, uh, res in the law, meaning they, they, they rest in the law. They, you know, they, they trust in the law. Uh, to uh, for, for everything, uh, Israelites who are uh, who are uh, who remain in Palestine. Uh, why they call it Palestine? And, you know, well, that's right. The land is Palestine, but there are no Palestinians. They're just Arabs uh, today. Or who are returned in, uh, to it after the uh, Babylonian captivity uh, were designated as Jews. Uh, the name Palestine came from the Romans. It didn't go 
pull back the bag one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, we're designated as Jews. The, you know, I forgot where the first term was. You know, originally they were called Hebrews. Uh, then later on in the Old Testament they're called Jews. Now they, you know, now they're just, you know, and then they they they, they stayed they stayed with the uh, with the term Jews, uh, even though uh, tribes other than uh, Judah were included. Uh, Paul calls himself a Jew in uh, Acts 21:39, uh, but an Israelite uh, in uh, Romans 11:1. Uh, a Hebrew in uh, Philippians uh, 3 5. They're all known for the same thing. Okay? Um, it's the same group of people. Well, an Israelite is a person who is a citizen of Israel, but they're, you know, but, you know for the most part, they're Jews. Um, you know, and Judah was one of the tribes, one of the, you know, the, uh, uh, the, fourth, uh, the fourth son of uh, Abraham, the line of the tribe of Judah, where, G where Jesus, you know, the line he came from. Um, all three names refer to the same people as in the uh, technical sense Hebrew uh, is, is the uh, race name. I, uh, Israel is the national name and Jew is the uh, religious name of the sons of Jacob. Uh, Jews uh, rested in the uh, law because it was as described as wisdom and understanding uh, in the sight of the uh, uh, nations. Uh, Deuteronomy 4, 6. Where else do we, where else do we find out about wisdom? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I quoted the verse many times. That's the start. Fear of the Lord. What? Fear of the Lord. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Oh. After the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. That's in chapter one. Chapter one what? No. What? Chapter one what? Uh, is the beginning of knowledge. Where is the beginning of wisdom? You have the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge in uh, 1719, something like that. 1719, what? Uh, of, 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 of Proverbs. Oh, Proverbs. Oh, okay, oh, yes, oh, that's what we're talking about. Thank you. Okay. But there's also another one that says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay. I thought you guys would know by now because many times I've mentioned it. You just kind of have a cursory listen yeah. over and over. It's mine, Tim. Uh, the Jews did not have to uh, travel around the world to study in a distant university. Uh, he did not have to rely on the philosophy of the Gentiles. The Jews trusted his law to be all that uh, he needed and the best uh, education uh, he could get. Thus he uh, boasted in the, in the God who uh, gave that law uh, in the uh, uh, end time prophecy class that I did. Uh, I went through how knowledge has doubled. It did, you know, knowledge from Adam, knowledge didn't double until Christ. Okay, 4,004 years approximately for those who have been able to go through the Bible and figure that out. I, you know, I haven't done it. I've got too many other things to do. I'll, you know, rely on, on other people. I'll just remember the number. Mm -hmm. And then it did, and then it didn't double again until 1950. Okay? Then it, uh, yeah, or, uh, or was it 1700? Yeah, I think I'll say it was 1750, and then 1900, and then 1950, 1960, and then, you know, just kept going down and down and down. So when the Bible says that uh, uh, in the end times, knowledge will increase, it's been increasing drastically for the last couple hundred years. Um, to the point where in some areas, Knowledge is doubling every six months. Okay, uh, depending on what you what you're actually studying. Versus, Versus, what? Wisdom, is uh, <coughs> wisdom is the uh, is the application of knowledge. <laughs> so yes. So, yes. Well, if you uh, if you know, uh, I send you I send you the uh, the conservative videos. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Mike Dice going. Mark uh, Dice. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, yeah. Uh, uh, Mark, yeah. Mark Dice. Him going to and asking people stupid questions that aren't even true, and them agreeing with them. Okay, you know, uh, last one, last one around. I think I think I said yesterday was uh, uh, he's at uh, Colorado State University. I've been I've been there. That's where the last debate was uh, for the Republicans. Uh, I've been there a number of times. Uh, they're so they're so liberal and so stupid. Their brains have fallen out, uh, uh, and they don't even know it. Um, he asked them, you know, he, the question he gave them was, uh, Hillary Clinton has decided to follow uh, Sharia law. Do you think that's good for the country? Oh. Oh. Now, she has, not, she has not said that. Okay. 
but they have no idea what Sharia law is because all they they have their own treaty, be my and I. All they care about is themselves. Yo, know, and they think because she they know she's a Democrat, it must be right. It must be right. Okay. Yes. Or he goes around and asks somebody, you know, uh, what's the difference between between uh, a socialist and a and a, uh, and a capitalist? They, you know, they they, 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 they can kind of guess at that. But what's the difference between a socialist and a communist? <laughs> Not much. Spelling. Okay. Well, basic, you know, my, my basic definition is a socialist will allow you to have your faith, but don't practice it around me. Okay, you're just within the walls of your uh, church. Uh, a communist says, we are your God. All right? You will, you will worship us. Okay. Verse 18. And, uh, and knowing his will, updating the word, and uh, prove us, uh, proving the things that are uh, more excellent, uh, being instructed out of the law. Um, so he quotes the verse again and says, Because he had uh, received a uh, catechism, catechistical, uh, you know, the catechism of the Catholic Church with an IC, yeah, ICAO, you know, catech, catechism, you know, you get the word, you know, catech, Catholic Church uses that. Uh, having received, uh, you know, the, uh, the training uh, in the law as a youth, remember he came from Gamaliel, uh, rabbinical teaching as a man, uh, the Jew felt uh, confident that he could uh, prove or uh, discern those things that are uh, more uh, excellent. Um, because we were in a transition period back in 62 AD, when uh, this was about the time this was written, the Jews hadn't got come out of Judaism yet. They hadn't, you know, every you know everybody had been told Jesus rose from the dead. He appeared to 500 plus people, okay? They, you know, and they were still alive, witnessing that they saw him. Many of them were not Christians until they saw him risen from the dead, such as his bro his brothers, you know, James being the foremost, the uh, his oldest half brother, who became the leader of the Jewish Church. And when you look at, uh, I think it's Acts chapter uh, 10, or is it 15? I think it's 15, where. Paul comes back to say, what do we do about circumcising the Gentiles? Uh, Peter stands up and says, uh, I don't think we ought to do it. James stands up and says, we're not going to do it. And then in verses uh, 20 and 29, he says, uh, there's only four things we're going to make them hold to. Uh, you know, you, they, you know uh, 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 eating blood, uh, 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 you know, uh, consuming meat, uh, uh, sacrifice to uh, idols, uh, fornication, and I forgot what the fourth one was. Okay, you, know, you, you, you look at it. Uh, but he says, you know, but see, he stood up and said, we are not going to. He had the authority even over Peter, who was supposed to be the, you know, the Pope for the Catholic Church. And when I show the Catholics that, uh, you know, they, they, they don't know what to do. Okay? Because it shows that he did not, that first of all, he was not in Rome. <laughs> okay? And second of all, he was not, he was not the leader. That you know that he he did not have the authority to say I don't think we ought to do it. He you know instead of saying I don't think we ought to do it, he didn't say we are not going to do it. James did that. Go ahead. But why? I mean, wh wh what gave him the authority to to uh, assume there, that? You know, he uh, being 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 uh, the half brother of Jesus gave gave him great authority, and he was also converted. Huh. All right, and and he had and stop and realize he was more he was more um, you know analytical. Oh. Remember, Peter was the okay. flitty guy. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, more, more more stability. Go ahead. Oh. How is it that James, the half brother of Jesus, throughout his association with Jesus as a child and seeing him and knowing him, yes, and seeing the 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 uh, miracles that he did, such as changing? No, they weren't around. Well, yeah, but he heard. I'm sure. Well, he yes, he heard. heard. He heard about them. And but he thought, the, the brothers thought he was crazy. I think it's Mark 3.20 where it says uh, they thought Jesus was beside himself. That means they thought he was crazy. And then later on in, in chapter 3 and also in uh, uh, Matthew 12.46-50, uh, Mary and his brothers come to see him. They're going to put him away. <laughs> okay. So in other words, they thought he was demonically... Well, no, just just crazy. Because I mean, he had not necessarily control. demonic, but just but just nuts. But he had control over the weather. He had all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, he had, had yes. Well, but until he rose from the dead, see, um, yeah, yeah, they you know they, they, they didn't believe for for whatever reason. Now, you know, he has at least four brothers. Yeah. 
Now you see that in uh, Matthew 13, uh, uh, was it uh, uh, 50, uh, 55 to 59, something like that. You know, isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't mm -hmm. Mother Mary, yeah. our brothers James, Joseph, James, Judas, and yeah, Simon, yeah. and sisters also yes, with us? Uh -huh. Showing a whole family no, unit, the other, which the Catholic with the Church the doesn't get, thing, and relating yeah. as it relates to Jesus. He, they did not accept <coughs> it afterwards, and God did that probably for Mary, okay, so that because Mary, you know, was highly favored. We have to accept that. We just don't accept what the Catholic Church does and make her make her a part of, and make her a, a, you know in in the you know the Godhead as part of a quadrantine rather than a Trinity. That he saved the God saved the whole family. All right. So it was like super there, there could be. There could be. Yes. Okay. You know, you have four brothers. Have be especially be, brothers will always do that. <laughs> okay. You know, especially if if the brothers are fairly close in age. You got to get beyond four years to stop that rivalry stuff. You know, I got a brother that's two years, three months, half day, one hour, and one minute. Younger than me. Yeah. And he was always perfect and always in competition with me. And I got tired. Of, I got tired. I got tired of the competition. He was always, you know, always trying to be better than me. You know, and then he, and like he followed. And they, what? Does he look like you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> for at least he has a good standard. Uh, uh, you know, same, same parents. You know, you, you, yeah. You know, okay. Um, you know that. Uh, you know, he was always in competition. Uh, you know, I, I, I bought a motorcycle uh, when I was uh, nine, what, eighteen years old, and then when I was nineteen, I bought another one. Uh, took a trip to California. Well, he bought that motorcycle for me. Mm -hmm. Then I got my '68 396 Chevelle Super Sport with an optional engine. He got a '69. Same thing. Uh, <laughs> I, went in, I went into computer programming, and he's still programming. Okay. Oh. So, you know, wow. he, he followed along the, the same career path. Um, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of did all the study and and he benefited from uh, yeah. from uh, not, uh, and, 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 and he's got a, uh, a master's degree in theology. Okay, that was too. So, uh, he actually uh, teaches at the church that, um, mm -hmm. Oh, what's his name? Um, who's who's the guy that ran for president four years ago from Arizona? <coughs> eight years ago from Arizona. Uh, King. What? No, McCain. McCain. Yeah, McCain. 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 Yeah. He actually goes to the church that he used to go to before he went to Washington D.C. Okay. Um, uh, McCain is is. You know, <coughs> I don't think McCain said it at all. Okay. Now you know, go, you know, just because somebody goes to a Baptist church, no matter what kind of Baptist it is, no matter where your church. That, you know, I personally believe that there's people saved in all man's denominations, mm -hmm. but the more the Bible is referenced, the higher number the number of people that are going to be saved within the church. There are Catholics that are saved, but it's very few because they, they, it's only the ones that are getting into the Bible. Go ahead. You know the tree by the fruit it bears. Yes, mm -hmm. and if some, you know, the people who take the time out of out of love for God to read the Bible. Um, will learn from the Bible and they'll see the errors that are going on and they will avoid them. Now, you know, I mean, you know, we're on tape, so I'm not going to mention names. Um, not that I want to be on tape. Uh, but one of the pro-life leaders that I work for here in Cleveland, and most of you know who I'm talking about, uh, is a is a born-again Catholic. Okay. Now he does not do the rosary. Uh, you know, he you know he thinks the you know he thinks the Eucharist is still divided in blood of Jesus. He hasn't figured that out yet. Uh, you know, and, and and a few other things. But he's not doing the things that are strictly pagan, okay? Uh, you know, that are that are that are worshiping other gods, all right? Uh, you know, when the when the Catholics do the rosary, he walks away from them. Uh, the abortion clinics. He does. You know, if somebody starts, if somebody starts. Uh, trying to convert me. <laughs> he, first of all, he knows that's really dumb. <laughs> and if he's around, he just quietly slips away because they would know he knows the Bible too, and they're going to try. They're going to try to draw him in mm -hmm. to refute what I'm saying, and he's going to have to agree with me because he knows he knows I you know that, that I know a lot about the Bible. Mm -hmm. He asked me Bible questions, but his area of you know uh, you know he's he's a very good street preacher, and it's just like us. Wow. Okay, uh, because you're not bringing in any of the Catholic uh, dogmas and traditions yeah. of the Pope and Mary and you know praying to saints and stuff like this. It's strictly salvation, and he's got that down pat, and that's what God's called him to do. He's really good at it. Okay, um, so you know, uh, you know, you see as as Coupon Ken said, you see by their fruit as to whether or not they're saved or not. You know, too many, unfortunately, too many of the Roman Catholics 
their faith is in Catholicism, their faith is in Mary, that's why they're doing everything with Mary. You know, they come out for the 40 days for life, and you know, it's, you know, it's nice that they're thinking about trying to save the babies, but then they, then they spend all their time praying for themselves. Pray for me now at the hour of my death. Pray for me now at the hour of my death. Pray for me, you know, over and over and over again. You know, uh, you know uh, uh, at least five decades of it. You know, a decade is ten. They go through, you know, you know, and then, and then, and then, uh, and then, in our Father, which is you know the wrong, the wrong Lord's prayer to begin with, because they take off the uh, the end of it for Thy kingdom, power, and glory forever. The Catholic Church says that's us. That's why they take it off. They don't give it to God. Okay, all kinds of stuff. 